Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can put your iPhones or iPad or iPod Touch into the purple mode on your Windows machine. And this method is direct method that means you don't need any USB pen drive or rain USB method or Hackintosh or other things. This is the direct Windows application like Magic CFG or you can say it's a replica of Magic CFG and it's completely free. And if you watched my Magic CFG Mac OS video, you know about the process and completely compatible devices and especially for this process I have collected some devices with a different chipset like iPhone 8, iPhone 7, iPhone 6s so that I will show you guys the practical process on each device and this method completely supported the latest iOS 16, 15 or lower so you can easily run it on the all devices that support the purple mode so make sure you hit the like button for this video and if you are new here just subscribe to the channel to support me so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process alright before we installing the purple mode tool you need a usb dk driver it's very important these drivers have libraries that can access the usb device through the user mode apis and this is the very important driver kit so must have installed it before using any ram disk tool or pawn dfu mode or checkmate so you can install the latest version from the official github page and for the easy use i will give the links in the description you can go to my blog link and download all there for free after that you will require the itunes from the apple website don't use the itunes from the microsoft store if you have that just uninstall it and install this itunes from the official website directly next you need a latest 3u tools so you can download the 3u tools from the official website so all these files are important before using the tool so after the installation you can proceed to extract the tool and same if you want to download this tool just check out my blog you will get everything there so first extract this tool click on yes to all Now here is the tool file you will see some drivers for the usb and other template for the purple mode now next you need to install some dot inf files for the usb drivers and cdc drivers for the purple mode so just follow me one by one and install the same also i've opened the device manager so that all the drivers are installed properly and i will see the progress side by side and if you face some signature error while installing the dot inf file just ignore that because some usb drivers is already installed in your system so that's why it will not overwrite also make sure that windows driver signature is disabled you can search it on google or you will get so many videos on youtube you can disable that driver signature i have already done that there is so many easy ways you can do that from your advanced setting from your boot option also you can do that from the cmd by this command so i'm skipping that step but that is important you need to disable the driver signature for your windows and after that reboot your pc and proceed for all these steps and as i mentioned in the starting you will get some warnings or errors while installing these inf files so some file will install properly and some will give you the warning so just ignore that and proceed further and if you remember these caster pawn tfu file i've already shown you in my last video so that's the same file as the purple mode also required the pawn dfu mode so these are the same files so now just follow me and install one by one Alright now all the driver installation is done and you can see these are all the purple mode files are available in the tool. So now let's run the tool. Now here is all the device that are supported. You can check out the list on the screen. Some iPhones, iPad or iPod model need the DCSD cable and some are works with a normal lightning cable. So you can check out all the information written on the screen and then you can proceed accordingly. So now here is the tool interface. First of all you need to turn off your windows defender or if you are using antivirus turn it off as the firewall may restrict these apps to work properly so it's a complete safe app don't worry about it now let's see the other functions so now you will see there are some options to open the device manager and fix the drivers of itunes you can see that and also there is option to put your device into the pawn dfu mode 
there are two modes that are available boot 1 and boot 2 and there is another mac os boot option so you can check accordingly and you will see some option is written in the chinese language as well so you can read the english language option and work accordingly so now let's see which cables are required so if you have a 11 device like iphone x iphone 8 and 8 plus and 8 and device and iphone 7 7 plus the normal lightning cable will work for you but if you have a other model like 6s 6s plus iphone se 4 first generation ipad 5th and other ipad models you will require the dcsd cable and there is another cable that are available in the market that is the magico dcsd cable so this cable will also work as compared to the alex dcsd so i will show you the purple mode on so many devices with all these cable so that you will get idea how it works so these are all the cables that are required as per your iphones ipad or ipod model so now let's proceed for the practical process now first of all you need to put your device into the DFU mode. If you know how to put that you can directly put it and tool will detect. If you don't know the button combination properly you can click on that button and take the DFU helper. Now just follow the instruction on the screen. You need to press the button combination as per your model. Device is in the DFU mode and you will see the black screen. Let me just confirm from the 3U tool. So now you can see the device is in the DFU mode. Now you need to press the boot option. You can select the boot 1 or boot 2 to put your device into the pawn DFU mode. If the boot 1 fails for you, you can try the boot 2 option or if the boot 1 works, that's good. There is also option to fix the drivers. If you have any drivers issue, you can click on that and drivers will be fixed. So now let me just select the boot 1 option and maybe there is the third boot option also available on the above section. There is the Mac and plus some Chinese written there. So I'm not sure about that. Now the device is into the pawn DFU mode. Now click on OK. After that the serial change option will highlight. Just click on that and wait for it. So now the tool is showing you the supported devices list again. Click on OK. So now here is the tool that support the purple mode on your Windows machine. The name is LOL tool CFG. I know the name is funny but it working good so you can check out all the option it's so similar like magic cfg it's just a complete replica of the magic cfg with all same option some option are written in the chinese but you will see the english option as well so you will understand and it's quite similar so you will get an idea how to use it there is similar option to read the cfg information take backup and reboot your i device also you can erase your i device so all the option is here now first you need to click on the first option that is connect device after that click on boot now wait for your device to complete boot the purple mode So here it is now you can see that my device is showing purple screen and in the purple mode through the windows tool no need mac no need hackintosh or win usb or the usb method it's a direct thing so now follow the instruction on the screen just disconnect your device and reconnect back after that port will show if the port is not showing in your case you can follow the instruction on the screen and then it will show so now you can see i've read all the nan information here and you can check out that so it's very similar to the magic cfg it's quite same so you can check the option accordingly the english option is written there so don't confuse in chinese it's so similar so you can check them out so you can take the backup and then you can change your information what you want so now let me just show you on the another device so first let me just reboot it from that button directly and the latest ios 16 15 activation lock or normal device both are supported so you can use that so now you can see the device is getting reboot so this is currently the iphone 7 now let me just try it on my iphone 8 
Now the process is same, click on OK, click on serial check, after that the magic CFG window will open and follow the instruction on the screen, boot your device and click on the purple mode option and after that all the process is same for the iPhones, iPad or iPod touch. So now the purple mode is done on my iPhone 8 and you can see that it's currently on the hello screen so it will work for both. So now you can see all the information there and you can take the backup before changing all the information. So by this way you can follow the same process and put your device into the purple mode with a normal lightning cable. So now I will show you another device with the Alex DCSD cable and I will show you the practical process of changing the serial number as these are my primary device so I don't want to change that but I have another testing device so I will practical process on that and show you the serial change will work. Now copy paste the serial you want but make sure that before changing any detail make sure you take the backup and save it somewhere else so that if you do some mistake you can rewrite the process. Now paste the new serial and click on write and after that you will see done that means the serial change is done. Also the tool will show you some random serial so it will require in the ram disk tool and other process so don't use that if you don't know what you are doing. All these process is just for showing you guys how it's work. So don't play with that if you don't know what you are doing. After that click on write, click on ok. Now everything is done. Now just reboot your iDevice from that button or you can do it directly. Now wait for it to complete on and then we will see the results. So now you can see the results on the screen. We have successfully changed the serial number to the new one. So this is the complete step by step process. I have shown you each and everything clearly with the detailed guide. So make sure you hit the like button and support this video. So now let me just revert the original serial to the device again. So now let me just copy paste my original serial. Now check that box and click on write. Now it's done. Now simply reboot your device to take the effect.
so now you can see everything looks good and back to the normal so that's how you can use this magic cfg tool and easily put your device into the purple mode on your windows machine so i hope you gain some knowledge through my videos so just hit the like button and if you're new here just subscribe to my channel for more cool update so i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out